Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Natural. I'm so happy you're here. If you're new to this channel, go ahead, hit the like, subscribe button, hit that bell so you know whenever I post a video. So I just wanted to basically take this moment to, I, I'm wondering why Kim Kardashian invited Ivanka Trump to her birthday party. I know this was a couple of months back and, and you know, the news that's going on right now is so divisive. So many of the politicians, especially on the right, are doing stuff that's just doggone crazy, divisive, racist, sexist, you know, trying to outlaw abortion across the U. I mean, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. So I feel like we have been getting swamped up in the 24-hour news cycle, and it's just been so crazy that some stuff we just aren't even paying as much attention to it if we as if we would have, say, 10 years ago. And so... Kim Kardashian had this birthday party. Hailey Bieber was there. Her sisters were there. Her family was there, of course. But Ivanka Trump was also there. And you guys know, you guys know pretty much my stance on the Trumps. You can go and look at my other videos. I mean, I condemn it in every sense of the expression. I mean, it's, it's like literally these people try to overthrow the sanctity of American democracy. They try to get rid of free and fair elections. Hate speech, uh, domestic terrorism, racism, brutality towards black people, uh, homophobia, uh, prejudice towards disabled people, rampant misogyny, just all of that on the uptick since this orange man. Now, I don't wanna associate the sins of the daughter with the father, maybe Ivanka Trump is, you know, out of all of them, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna make this a bias about me having the same parts as this person. But I do see that maybe she's, maybe not as bad as them, maybe. But still, you know, clearly there's some complacency there. And apparently the friendship between Kim Kardashian and Ivanka goes back some time. Their, their kids have hung out. Um, Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner were the ones who helped, um, Kim Kardashian get Alice, I think her last name was Johnson, the the longtime convicted uh, African American woman who was convicted in a very very corrupt way, you know, no, first time offense, you know, trumped up dr drug charge, first time offense, nonviolent, twenty years or something, over twenty years, and President Trump gave her a pardon, you know, and Kim Kardashian was really the one who pushed that forward with the help of Jared Kushner via Ivanka Trump. Right? That's already like so like, oh. But you know, I just, why was she at Kim Kardashian's party? I like, please help me understand it. It's an anomaly that honestly, I go and I look online and actually it's pretty understated. People just kind of throw out there like, hey, Ivanka Trump was there. But, you know, they don't really talk about the fact that Donald Trump is, you know, under a bunch of indictments seditionist, uh, essayer, you know, it's like, I just, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. And then after that, I had to do a little bit of research and see like, did the Kardashians support the Trump presidency? And then upon doing a little bit more research, it seemed like at first maybe they were going to, but then they were like, uh, this looks like maybe we should step back. So then they didn't. And that also is kind of like, awkward since at some point Kanye West was supporting Donald Trump so I feel like this right here is that very thin line where the Kardashian-Jenner family saw how influential the Trumps were going to be especially coming into this new political arena but at uh, arena arena I'm like my dear arena arena but at the same time they also probably saw that they that Donald Trump is 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 uh sexist, uh, has done things that aren't racist, has excused uh, misogyny, has excused domestic terrorism, has excused hate speech, has, you know, rubbed elbows with dictators, fascist dictators, maybe was involved in spreading a bunch of, you know, misinformation that leaked in the 2016 election, uh, 2016 election campaign to Russia. Uh... <laughs> I could keep going on and on and on. There's the Simpsons episode about the 2020 election and it just shows this whole screen of everything that Donald Trump, basically that administration had did. Terrible stuff between 2016 and 2020. Again, don't want to completely associate 
all the sins of the father with the daughter. And maybe, you know, in the end, Ivanka Trump will be the one out of all of them, uh, you know, who might actually kind of walk away from this and be able to kind of, um, how do you want to say, CPR her, her good image, good image a little bit. But I think that's probably going to be mostly with a strategy to separate herself from her father's business dealings and corruption as much as possible. And that seems like what's happening. And that seems like why she was at <laughs> Kim Kardashian's birthday party. Why is no one talking about this? Why is no one talking? I don't, I don't know. Just tell me what you think in the comments. Again, if you're new here, go ahead, hit the like, subscribe button, hit that bell so you know whenever I post a video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.